Hello there my fans, welcome back to the channel. Today's headline. One insider who spoke to the Daily Mail on the condition of anonymity, as they are still a royal family employee, said they were an absolute nightmare to work for. Every time they did any engagements, there would be all sorts of calls afterwards. Why had that been done? Why hadn't that been done? They were really unpleasant. Meghan and Harry served the Crown together as full-time working members of the firm for 20 months, from their nuptials in May 2018 to the end of March 2020. During this period, they carried out several royal engagements in the UK and visited on official tours Oceania, South Africa and Morocco. The insider claims come in the wake of a report published by the Times on Tuesday evening related to bullying accusations when the Duke and Dash of Sussex were still frontline members of the family in 2018. Meghan and Harry's representatives have strongly denied the initial allegations reported in the newspaper. The spokesman speaking about Meghan's reaction to these claims also said, The Duchess is saddened by this latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who has been the target of bullying herself and is deeply committed to supporting those who have experienced pain and trauma. She is determined to continue her work, building compassion around the world, and will keep striving to set an example for doing what is right and doing what is good. Hours after the allegations were published by the Times, Buckingham Palace issued a statement announcing it would investigate the circumstances outlined in the article. Meghan and Harry officially stepped down as senior royals at the end of March, when they also relocated to California. Since the couple had pursued profitable deals in line with their desire to become financially independent from the sovereign grant, and has so far announced multi-year contracts with Netflix and Spotify. Meghan and Harry have also launched their new organization Archwell, which comprehends their foundation and two production companies, Archwell Audio and Archwell Productions. Since stepping down, Meghan and Harry have yet to return to the UK, a trip made it difficult by the travel restrictions in place due to the ongoing pandemic. Earlier this year, the Sussexes had been tipped to return in June to celebrate Prince Philip's century and Troop in the Colour. Prince Harry may also attend the unveiling of the statue of Princess Diana at Kensington Palace on July 1st. Good stuff. Thank you guys. That's all for today. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.